At their best, hospitals, especially small ones, especially in war zones, are like families. And the Al-Quds Hospital in the rebel-held part of Aleppo was no different, according to its finance manager, who'd already gone home when the events occurred. Wednesday the 27th of April had been relatively quiet until 9.37, the clock is an hour behind, when a government airstrike hit a nearby building. You can see the dust from that explosion. Everyone rushed to the emergency room to await the influx of casualties, including the tall man in black with the walkie-talkie, Abu Ibrahim, the hospital administrator. Five minutes have gone by since the explosion in the nearby building. And astonishingly, everyone you see here survives what is about to occur. Abu Ibrahim escaped the lottery of life and death with nothing more than a leg injury. Camera 3 on the ground floor captures Dr. Ahmad, the hospital dentist. His luck was running out. Had he been less engrossed on the mobile phone, had he walked another two feet away from the door, he might have lived. وكان يعني من من قصة المشفى صار إنه ما تعبر أنا بس من قصة المشفى هالطبيب متزوج جديد وعنده طفل استشهد بقلب مشفى أنا بقسم الانتظار هو كان عم يحكي بال بالهاتف وهبط عليه سقف ال الله يرحمه. The dentist is buried under the collapsed ceiling. Suddenly a survivor appears. She's carrying a baby. She stumbles and then picks her way wearily through this stage of horrors. She appears to be shouting into the corner of the rubble, presumably for help. She can't find a way out and now turns around. You can only imagine what's going through her mind. On another part of the ground floor, a few hours before the airstrike, Abu Muhammad, the hospital doorman, is helping visitors. A father of three young children, he was apparently liked by everyone here. بسيط كثير ودرويش ومحترم يعني بيعرف كيف يتعامل معنا مع الكبير مع الصغير بيعرف بيمتص غضبهم بيمتص الصدمة. When he walked through this door, his fate was sealed. He died too. On a 55 doctors, nurses, patients, visitors, men, women, and children killed in that one airstrike on the Al-Quds Hospital in Aleppo. The CCTV cameras are dispassionate eyes on events they were never set up to record events that tend to remain unseen in the fog of war, and people that quickly become statistics of a distant conflict. But not this time. 